Hello everyone, welcome to techtube.com. In this lecture, we will be understanding inner join. So we have already understood the basics basics of join, and basically we uh, we have gone through the process of join in uh, relational algebra, right? So here we will be basically writing SQL query using join. Fine. And when we talk about the types of join, we have inner join and outer join. And again, outer join have three other types, left, right, and full outer join, right? So here, to start with, we are studying inner join first. And as name suggests, while joining the tables, relations, we will only take the inner part, OK? So let's understand it practically. Let's say we have uh, one relation, this one, A, and another one, B, fine? And then when we join, Okay, we only consider those tuples which satisfy the condition. Okay, so the query writing style would be something like this. We write select and then field list or attributes. So I'll write attributes from So if we have a uh, relation A and B, then we will write from A and then inner join B, P, or simply we can write join, okay, because inner join is default join also. So inner join B on condition, okay. So on, we will write predicate here. So it's better to take an example and understand it. Let's say we have two relation loan and borrower. So I'll draw the relation instance. So here we have two relations loan and borrower. And now we are going to join this using inner join. Okay. So what we will do, we will select, let's say, we'll select loan number, branch, and customer name and amount. Okay. So what we will do, we will write select loan dot loan number branch customer name and amount from and then table so from loan join or inner join borrower and what would be the joining condition on loan dot loan number equal to borrower dot loan number so what it will do it will perform join and inner join over these two tables and the condition would be loan dot loan number equal to borrower dot loan number okay and the output would be something like this so this would be the out output of the inner join performed by this query and what we will have see here we have l1 so across l1 we have l1 here right so the joining condition as we have joining condition is loan dot loan number equal to borrower dot loan number okay so we have l1 l1 so this first tuple will be selected okay so we will have l1 b1 c1 and 1k right now l2 so again when we consider this tuple l2 should be equal to we will have i mean we should have some l2 here in borrower so as we have this so okay these and these stuff this tuple this tuple and this tuple will be joined okay so it will be l2 b2 c2 and 2k right now see here we have l3 for this the loan number is l3 but across this l3 we don't have any entry in borrower table right so after performing inner join this row will be discarded okay it won't it will not be included in the output similarly 
you can see in the borrower table that is write table when we say write table we have this you can see we have this one is left table okay and this one is right table fine so here in the right table we have c3 with loan number l4 in borrower table but we don't have any entry in this left table right so this will also be discarded so in the in case of inner join we will have only these two records as output okay and if we don't specify the attributes to be listed for example we have listed here loan number branch customer name amount right so if we don't specify anything we just write loan inner join borrower on this condition then what will happen then we will have a output or we will have a relation as output where we will have the attribute from both the tables in order okay so if we don't have these attributes we will have loan number then branch then amount again customer name again loan number so loan number will be repeated in that case so uh, i would request you to perform these queries uh, in a join on terminal so that you can see the output and understand it well so in the next lecture we will try to understand what is outer join and how uh, the co the records from one table is taken while another table table can be ignored okay so we will see it in next lecture thanks for watching